a couple of the members are talking about Dirk's situation and a couple of people who are affiliated and know what been going on with King Vaughn as well have all rooted the center of the main problem, not my words. Now, what's going on through the motion and these updates are even a couple of officials. A lot of this got initiated during the time when Dirk and Devon Bennett, which is King Vaughn, they uh, committed that crime where they shot somebody in Atlanta. Y'all remember that case? Um, a lot of things came with that case, man. From politicians being involved, like Miss Lori Lightfoot sending certain uh, um, chief of uh, officers to go down to Cal uh, not California but Atlanta and help out with the case, whatever that meant. We still don't know what type of help them officers did. Did they go there to hurt Dirk and King Vaughn or go there to assist them the way? He has backing from certain political figures, but we're not going to get into that. I need y'all to smash that like button, hit that notification bell. Thank you for rocking out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Now, Durkio and King Vaughn were in a serious situation with that case. Dirk kind of came out the best of that case after the fact of King Vaughn dying. When you look at some of the Fed's paperwork... They look at that date and said observations and surveillance was being done for that one, too, as far as the aftermath. So they started investigating. We know that special FBI agent Sarah Cochran, they cohorted an entire task force to take down OTF and Little Dirk, specifically Little Dirk. We know they allowed certain murders to happen. They allowed certain things to go on just for the invest, uh, an investment of their case. You know what I'm saying? They needed to see something happen where Dirk got his hands caught red-handed, but not for regular things that he can possibly come home from. That case in Atlanta, believe it or not, because it's, it is the South, but the situation that happened, Dirk could have get sentenced to only like 10 years or less than that. Maybe at worst, worst, worst case, 20 years, if even that. And in Atlanta, when you get these 10 years or 20 years, it's like Chicago. It's only half of that. At least certain situations like that. So fast forward, how did little Dirk get out of that situation? So the streets kept trying to say Dirk was a rat. Not my words. I'm telling you everything that's been going on over the years. People kept what people believed was that little Dirk put the body on King Von once King Von died. So that's why. They made it the way they made it. A lot of people are saying the case is sealed up. People were calling the show yesterday. I didn't even know that. I know Quando Rondo's federal case is sealed up. Now you got, uh, I'm finding out uh, um, Dirk and them case was sealed up. I got to go verify that part because it's not really that deep yet. I'm going to verify it first, but let's continue forward. They started saying that, bro, Dirkio is putting the, um, the body on King Von because he's dead. My opinion on that is I've never felt like someone is a snitch for telling it on their homie who's no longer here. I feel like if I'm no longer here, as, as long as it's not no young Geppetto allegations, my homies could do what they got to do to come home to their families, bro. It's the least I can do while I'm not here no more for them. You know what I mean? These my people. I've never felt somebody is a rat because of that. But the community has been calling little Dirk a rat because of it. Every one of Dirk's moves and motives, he gets questioned. This has been lingering amongst the bloggers and everybody in the media. How did Dirk get out of his case? I think academics even asked him a deep situation about that before. Now, only Dirk and the courts and the people involved can know what happened that day in court. But people are trying to say Dirk cooperated. I haven't heard none of the real members said he cooperated. You know what I mean? So I don't want to go forward to that degree and say he did cooperate. You dig what I'm saying? Paying attention. Hang on, my bad. So now being infuriated, I'm going to give it to you. Wait. Bro, you got to. I'm multi multitasking right now, but um. I had to bring this up because I was on Reddit arguing with one of the Reddit moderators who covered the little Dirk's Reddit. I don't know if that's the real little Dirk's Reddit, but it's a, a Reddit page on Reddit. I mean, it's a little Dirk page on Reddit. Not saying it's the official one, but it is a little Dirk one on Reddit that has all type of infos. And I was arguing to the point you can't just call Dirk a rat 
just because a lot of people are insinuating he told on King Vaughn and don't make it look like that. Because if he did put the body on King Vaughn or the, I don't think the dude died. You know what I mean? I don't think the dude died at all. I'm not sure. I forgot. But whether the guy's dead or not, even if Dirk would have put the body on King Vaughn after King Vaughn died, I'm not mad at that. But people were trying to make it seem like he put the body, you know, I'm like, he snitched while Vaughn was still out here. That ain't the case at all. So me just trying not to be too descriptive on who was the little birdie who talked to me. They said that night there was a lot of other people too. And they really felt that night dudes were wearing wires during that night too, as far as cooperating. I don't believe the wire part. They wouldn't even play with Dirk like that. But like I said, maybe it did happen. Because if they let OTF Jam and all these other people commit other crimes just to get the Dirk, imagine how much other things they did have proved Dirk involvement in, but it was not enough time to sentence Dirk to a long time for those charges. So they look at it as we want him for the home run. The ones that could possibly lock him up for the rest of his life. That's what they went for. That's how the feds come with you, bro. They're not going to go to the district courts and present this affidavit to get niggas indicted without actually having actual facts. You have to present this to a grand jury. It's not the same grand jury the way it's presented like when these uh, um, officers shoot a black dude or something like that. It's almost the same kind, but it's different procedures, bro. Magistrate has to sign over these charges after knowing that you did everything legitly the right way because you can't just put wires any kind of way. There are rules against that. Not saying that people are scared to break the rules to put wires on you. But if any jury finds out that, and I'm talking about regular jury now that's in court, not grand jury. If they find out that you illegally put a wire to tap this illegally, the case is, you know, it's going to be a mistrial or they're going to let you dismiss the case all together with, bro, because you can't do that. So if they were to wire in a certain way, they followed procedures. They're in rooms with you. They're outside with you or they're documented things that you actually said. So when they go look at the notes and the paperwork, they can go verify, okay, the document you told us, they're gonna be here at nine o'clock selling this. They're gonna be over here at two o'clock shooting at such and such. Now, when those things happen, they just document it as this is what our CI told us, but they don't even stop it. Why would they stop it? They want to get you with all, without a doubt, burden of proof doing this. Rest in peace to King Vaughn, but I feel like.